Hi, this is Russell with DieselGiant.com and another diagnostic short. Hi, this is Russell with DieselGiant.com and today I want to talk to you about engine blow-by. I get questions all the time on this subject so I wanted to explain a little bit about it. First of all, what is engine blow-by? Well, simply it's the combustion gases that are in the cylinder that escape past the rings in the cylinder due to wear. Now also you can have certain amount of blow-by through worn valve stem seals, but that's less common. You don't have to be a mechanic to check for engine blow-by and you don't need any tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to check for this. Now people ask, well if I have some engine blow-by, is my engine toast? Is it a death sentence for the engine? And the answer to that is, well it depends. Certain engines like the old Mercedes diesel engines, just as an example, usually show on average quite a bit of engine blow-by but can go several hundred thousand miles with regular maintenance with that condition. Now if you have a newer car, well that could be a problem. Cars nowadays use better materials for the rings and in the block. They're harder and they're more durable so if you have a condition that shows up as engine blow-by you may want to get your mechanic to check it out with a compression test and do a cylinder leak down test. So go ahead and follow along as I show you how to check for engine blow-by in your engine. Alright, this is how we're going to check for blow-by. This is a 2001 Dodge Ram 2500 with the Cummins turbo diesel engine. It has approximately 142,000 miles. Now you can do this step right here. I'm getting ready to do either while the engine's running or while it's off. It doesn't matter. But go ahead and remove the oil fill cap. Lay it aside where it won't uh, get lost, and then we're going to go in and start the engine. blow-by you'll see a white grayish blue smoke coming out of the oil fill hole it'll be puffing out like a small choo-choo train as you can see this engine has absolutely no blow-by at all you can also do a little test that's fun called a tea kettle test where you put the cap back on And if you have blow-by again, you would obviously be able to see it, but the cap would be bouncing up and down like that. That's called a tea kettle test. So we can deduce from this that at least we know that our rings and cylinder walls are in healthy in good shape. Like I said before, this is a 2001 and if I had some blow by, especially on a Cummins turbo diesel, I would have a little bit of reservations about it. So my next step would be to have the compression tested and also do a cylinder leak down test to find out if it's the rings, the valves, the valve stems. Uh, you just want to know if you see that. But this engine is in excellent shape. We have no blow by and that's how you test for blow-by. Now go out and test your car.